Y'all knew this video was coming, right? Sergeant! <laughs> I just screwed up my hair for that joke. Hello, hello, what were my arms doing? What is going on? What is wrong? I swear to God, I'm not drunk. Hi, you guys. Today we're back with a new Jeremy Do It video. We're going back to my roots. Thank you guys. As I went through my passion period of documentaries, I'm gonna drop more of those because I have a good portion of you guys who like them. So I'm gonna keep doing the documentary series. If you haven't already, please go ahead and check out my, is it gonna be on this side or this side? Whichever side I put it on, the Jeremy Do It documentary. I'm gonna leave a link to that video here and in the description so you can get caught up on all things Jeremy Do It. Real quick, my name is Blake. This is my channel. I talk about true crime, psychology, neuroscience, and anything that kind of comes to my brain. I wanted to leave time for our girl, our Lord and savior, the apple of my eye, Jeremy Do It. Now, I haven't really been keeping too many tabs on him because he, the thing about him is that he felt, it felt like he was kind of stale after I did that documentary. It seemed like that was pretty much every insane thing. He hasn't really topped the insanity bar quite yet. I've been focusing more on the other people in his life, like Alec Ringdahl, who, Alec, now that I know that you watch my videos, I am so down to talk to you. If you're down, I appreciate a good conversation. And while I'm on that point, I just want to say I'm not ingratiated into the Jeremy Do It world. I don't talk to people within that sphere. I'm very much my own thing. Um, so anybody has their opinions, please share them with me, leave them in the comments. I want to collaborate more. It's just so difficult to facilitate that relationship. It's like, how do you go like, hey, I'm obsessed with this random guy in Florida and anybody's down? Anybody's down, please let me know because I need more friends. There's construction going on outside of my house. So if you hear that, I am sorry, but I wanted to just get this video out because I've missed you all so much. And I owe you for making 2020 such an interesting year. So the video we are going to be looking at today from our good old Jim Jam Slam Bam Thank You Ma'am Do It is his latest court appearance. It was, I think yesterday. Well, the video released yesterday. And he, it was because he failed to register a new address. Now, the thing about Jeremy Do It his status as a habitual offender and a sex offender, you have to register everything you do. And for good reason, because you don't wanna just have, I, the problem is that if the court doesn't track you, I have my own opinions about how the court system treats felons, but the fact is if the court system does not track you, it leaves a lot of leeway for you to do more harm if you're a habitual offender. And he didn't do that. So that's why he's in this court case right now. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh, I love these, these tracks. Jeremy DeWitt, 2020 CF 3570. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Ledan. Amir Ledan on behalf of Mr. DeWitt. Amir, Thank the you. lawyer that's lasted the longest. Good afternoon, Mr. DeWitt. <laughs> Mr. DeWitt, uh, you were arrested based on a warrant. A, another judge has found probable cause for the allegation of failing to register as required. Mm -hmm. Court is going to set uh, bond in this case. Uh, not aware of any uh, request by the state for pretrial detention, so you are entitled to bond. Your bond in this case will be set in the amount of one thousand five hundred dollars. That's it. One thousand five hundred dollars. Is that? I've never been arrested. I don't know how much that is, but I feel like for a habitual offender, like. $1,500, what is that? Well, okay, that's a lie because <laughs> he's made it clear he doesn't have that amount of money. Because you remember my old videos, I'm gonna put the link in the description, I thought it was gonna be here, put in the description about how he was asking his mom for money. So he probably doesn't have that bond and the judge is probably aware of that, I don't know. But for someone, for I, I, I'm very unclear if your status as a habitual offender feeds into your bond, like how the judge sets that. But it feels pretty lenient, 1500 bucks, that's not, it's not bad. I don't think. Your Honor, may the state be heard? Of course. Um, Mr. DeWitt has uh, another open case. It's uh, 2019 CF 3928. Um, so the state would be asking that the bond be revoked in that case. Hmm. Thanks. As to the new law offense, uh, the Judge Yoksevich had uh, uh, indicated you may not leave the jurisdiction of the court without express consent of the court. That's going to be a condition of your bond in uh, this new law offense, 2020 CF 3570. Okay, that makes sense. Officer so you can't Andrew, leave. You can't just go away. And, uh, Judge, uh, we sent you the paper this morning. We sent you these uh, uh, extra uh, pieces of paper with uh, several of the cases that the defendant is out on bond. We count five cases where he's out on bond. Wait, five? Uh, just five? Four of them being 
from Orange County. Oh, okay. I, I, I think I know which ones. Out of Orange County on five other different cases. Do you have any cases uh, with us in Osceola County that he's currently out on bond? We can find him out on bond for 19 CF 3928. Uh, the judge declined to take action on revoking any of the bonds. The state did make the request this morning, and that was denied by Judge Barber. But why wouldn't they revoke the bond? Um, I'm aware. Uh, I feel like you have five. You're out on bond, like, at that point. Before the court, my concern is uh, that, in part, uh, they allege some type of uh, violation of a temporary residence or a temporary residence being used. And okay. the court's consideration... And that's why we're here today, everybody. Properly charged by the Orlando Police Department with a domestic violence charge. Oh, okay. The victim in that case has never cohabitated with my client, and it was determined that OPD classified it in, as a domestic case so that when he got arrested on the charge, he'd be held and would have to appear before an initial appearance judge. I appeared before Judge Carter on that case last week, and the state, uh, in, in particular Michelle Latham, had no no built that case uh, either the morning of that initial appearance or, or contemporaneous to it, but the judge was aware of that, and Mr. DeWitt was released. And I bring that up because I'm very frustrated by law enforcement's conduct in, in Mr. DeWitt's case, as I know he has plenty of cases <laughs> pending. But plenty of cases. Wait, hold on. Can we just acknowledge that little frustration sigh that Amir <laughs> Ladon did? He was like, I know he has a lot of cases pending but no no crap he has a lot of cases pending he has that is why he's famous mr lida i know you have to make this point to the judge because the judge in some in some capacity in some wild world may not be fully aware of the celebrity that is in his courtroom right now but the fact that even you are aware of how ridiculous this farce is fills me with joy in some way like i respect you for being a lawyer but also like really <laughs> Really? Okay, well, I, I'm hoping Jeremy DeWitt talks during this particular court hearing. He's very chatty in the previous court videos that I've seen. I'm hoping that that's the case here. He's looking like Hannibal Lecter. I am so about it. And we'll just see what happens. Really ...to misrepresent the nature of an offense to then try to seek a warrant for his arrest to then try to revoke these offenses is what appears to have happened last time. Now we're here before the court on a new charge alleging similar conduct about being out of place or having some type of temporary abode. And I think it smacks of impropriety and I'm very concerned about it. And so I know we're only here- Has he convinced, uh, wait, I'm sorry. The, the, I, I'm sorry for pausing so soon. Has he convinced his lawyer that there is a targeted campaign against him as he has been claiming since before the dawn of time, not really that, like two years. He has been claiming that there is this organized campaign against him and that the police are just unnecessarily biased against him. Whether or not the police are biased against him isn't really my concern. It's more so the point, okay, no, that is my concern. It's not bias. Like they, <laughs> you have five cases you're out on bond on in one county and the police in that county probably aren't trailing you because they're obsessed with you. They're worried that you're going to do something else. They're worried <laughs> that you're going to offend a sixth time in their county. It's not, it's not, it's not a conspiracy to watch somebody who is unnecessarily dangerous to their community. You know, I have my own opinions about the police, as you all know, I've made those very clear. But I think in this case, keeping tabs on someone who has caused at minimum five, five crimes that are pending, five, I, sh I shouldn't say crimes, five alleged crimes pending in your county. I find it understandable, you know? I'm on the police side in this case, you know? The fact you convinced Amir of this is odd. I don't know if it's backwards, if Amir's convincing you, but that seems really weird to me that now he's suddenly spouting this theory. I feel like he didn't do that before. I felt like at this point, this is a big turning point, but whatever. The determination has been made. However, the court does have the discretion not to revoke the bond. I'd ask that this matter be set for a hearing, have the state file whatever appropriate motions they wish to file, have the bonds revoked, and give us an opportunity to be heard on it because there is some su substantial backstory that I think needs to be presented to the court before his bonds are revoked. Um, Judge... What backstory? Roach has ROR'd him on... What backstory? What backstory? ...cases that came subsequent to the original series of cases that are now pending. 
based on her review of those charges as well. And so I, I think that also speaks to what I'm speaking to, Your Honor. So I would ask the court not make that determination today, but to set it for a hearing if need be. All right. I'm not going to take any action on the uh, Orange County cases. I'm, I'm familiar with uh, some of Mr. DeWitt's ancillary issues. Who's got uh, Who isn't the, aware of it? County case, the 2019 case. It's actually in your division, Your Honor. All right. So the judge is aware, <laughs> which is fun. Has there been a motion for pretrial detention uh, filed in this case? Uh, not yet. You're like, uh, is he going to talk? Fine. I, I don't believe so, just because the, the, the new law just, just came in. Uh, so that wouldn't occur until until afterwards. All right. I'm going to request that the uh, state file a uh, motion to uh, revoke bond in the uh, oh. alternate case. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. They did it. They revoked the bond. Well, they're going to. They filed a motion to revoke the bond. Okay. That, that makes a lot of sense. If I were a judge and I heard someone was pending five bond or was out on bond in five pending cases, I would, I would probably make the same judgment. I don't have a law background. All right, and you could see his visible, like, oh, my God. What did you expect? <laughs> Who do you think you're fooling? To, to, to digest the request and prepare uh, a hearing, I'm going to ask that the state set that for an evidentiary hearing. Before me, I will consider the state's request to revoke bond based on their being probable cause being found by, looks like, Judge John Savage uh, of this new law offense. And I will consider the request, but I point the defense an opportunity to... Uh, react to the state's uh, mm -hmm. uh, Roy Tennis uh, request today. So. And, and yeah, just for the record, I just want to note, um, the state would be objecting uh, to um, the, the ruling um, because the defendant was already uh, on release and a, and a PC being found for a new violation would be a violation. So I just wanted to put that Okay, thank you. Thanks. I think that's within the discretion of the court uh, at IAs to... Uh, uh, revoke bond and uh, the answer is not no it's just uh, uh, I need to, uh, some more information to make that determination so okay uh, so the, he's, he's the waiting request today is denied without prejudice Mr. DeWitt you are bondable on this case uh, and under those terms and conditions do you have a passport no your honor I already turned that into uh, All right. No, he doesn't have a passport because I don't think he's allowed to because he had a fake passport. Okay, so the court's going to find that uh, Judge on Savage's requirement that he surrender his passport okay. uh, has been satisfied and uh, his new condition of bond is he is not to leave. He got a passport the, uh, again? What? Orange and Osceola County? No, he forged a passport. That's going to be my request, Judge. Uh, Mr. DeWitt's business actually operates out of Orange County and they do uh, funeral escorts typically outside of county boundaries so i would ask that it, as long as it's motor one for work purposes motor one represent to travel within central florida yeah i'm gonna i'm allowing to uh, uh travel within the ninth judicial circuit um okay uh, which is orange and osceola county uh any uh, additional uh travel needs to uh be proposed to the court and approved yes, but he honor. obviously didn't do that Thank the first time that's all i have before the court your honor maybe excuse yep. so why would he do it again thanks what's your name well, my name's Jeremy Jeremy Oh, okay. Well, there's an ad after that. Okay, we're gonna stop you. Okay, that was fairly uneventful. I am disappointed. Um, I expected J Dog to say something. He's usually so chatty, but you know, given the pandemic, given everything that's been going on, it doesn't surprise me that he is being more cautious with his words. And he also, at this point, must realize the ridiculousness that he is in. Because I'm just saying, if someone's, I, I, I don't know, I don't want to make this assumption because I could only see his eyes because he had his mask on. I just want to, I, I want to believe that when the judge said, you have five pending cases in which you're out on bond, that some, some bit of metacognition activated where he realized the ridiculousness of his ways, and then he will change into a beautiful butterfly. I don't know, man. I just, it's been so long since I've talked about him. Go, going back into the Jeremy DeWitt headspace is emotional. I don't, I don't have, I don't have the time. I don't have the, the stones for this. Thank you guys for watching so much. That was just a quick video. I wanted to get it out to you guys because I've missed you. Please like and subscribe, comment, uh, follow my Instagram. I'm super active on there. I hope everybody is staying safe during lockdown. I am in California. We've imposed another stay at home order. So I have all the time in the world to enjoy my room. Look at that red lamp. It's my favorite thing. All right, well, thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye.